Hi guys, my name is Sabine and welcome to another video. Today I will be talking about the five books that I want to read before 2019 ends because oh my god, it's almost 2020. So basically, this is my December TBR. I'm gonna upload this video before the previous one that I recorded so I bought a new like little technical stuff for my channel I usually have a very simple setup but now I have a ring light so hopefully the lighting in my future videos will look so much better today is a very very chill Sunday I'm literally wearing the biggest sweater that I own I'm not wearing any makeup so please feel free to join me and I won't feel as ugly <laughs> I was realizing that I have definitely started a couple of books throughout the year which I haven't finished yet and I just want to finish as many of the books as I can that I'm currently reading. Let's start off with the first book that I plan on finishing in December. That was such a casual grab towards the book and that is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. So I mean everyone and their mom has talked about this book this year. This is a fantasy standalone story. In this country called Astromere we follow our main character called Elizabeth and she's been training to become this warden of one of the libraries of the country and in these libraries they store magical books called grimoire. Sorcerers use these books in order to like put on their magic in the world but sorcerers have always been kind of seen as like evil people and just not really people that you want to come across. Then an act of sabotage happens and one of the most dangerous grimoires of Elizabeth's library gets set on the loose and she has to work together with one of the most feared sorcerers to kind of like keep everything contained <laughs> basically. And the longer that she works together with this sorcerer called Nathaniel the more that she questions the world, the libraries, sorcerers in general and I started this one in August and because of some things that happened in my personal life back in August I just could not set my mind to reading or like focus on any of the books that I was currently reading. I just set this on the side and I didn't continue on with it for four months I think because I did pick this up at the end of November beginning of December and I was halfway through the book back then and right now I'm like almost finished so I only have like 50 pages left to read and then I am done with this book so this is definitely a book that I can like check off from my books that I need to finish before 2019 so I will probably finish this one today or tomorrow. Next up I have a book that I initially never thought that I would buy because this is a non-fiction self-help book which is called Love for Imperfect Things by Heimin Sunim. The blurb on the bottom of the book says, how to accept yourself in a world striving for perfection. And I was definitely feeling the vibe of this book. I believe a couple of months ago, like two months ago, I was so, so busy for uni again. And I was experiencing so much stress and doubt and stuff like that. It is basically just a book that gives you a lot of advice about imperfect things in your life and how to accept it. So it deals with family, with relationships in general, and acceptance, self-care, stuff like that. And I have read, I'd say probably a third of the book, but now I'm in a very calm uh, period of my life. So I do not really feel the need to read a self-help book. So if I do not finish this before the end of 2019, I'm not going to be super mad at myself. It's really good and helpful until so far. But now I'm just feeling very calm, but it has just great advice and beautiful little drawings in it as well. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And um, in between the chapters, they have like little quotes. They are not really like poems, but it's like little quotes, which just makes you realize things in life can be okay, even if they are not perfect. Ooh, oh my god, a big book. And the last one that I'm like currently reading and that I need to finish, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, the illustrated edition. <sighs> These books are just so incredibly pretty. I've heard that a lot of people are kind of like on the fence about the Goblet of Fire book. I was like, I do have that one, but I don't know where I've displayed it, but it's like right here, but okay. I started reading this one. I don't know when during this year, but the thing is I cannot take this with me to my dorm because this is just a huge book. It is so heavy. It is so big. So I'm only reading it here at home. And I've just been reading so many books in between that I don't really like pay attention to this one. I'm hoping that I can finish this before 2020 arrives because I really love this story and I've never read Harry Potter all in once in English so that is still a new experience for me. I just really like this story a lot. I don't know which Harry Potter book is my favorite. I 
It's just so difficult. <laughs> Those are the books that I've already like started and want to finish before 2020 but I do also have two other books which I'm planning on reading this month. The first one is Wat de Zee Vertelt by Julia Drake. The original title for this book in English is The Last True Poets of the Sea. This seems like a very mysterious contemporary magical realism book. I just don't know what this book is gonna be. I got sent this book by Moon which is a Dutch publishing company so thank you so much Moon for sending me this book. I'm so intrigued by the synopsis. We follow Violet and her brother Sam and they have always been told that their family, the Larkin family, they are just lucky people. They're just lucky folks because a couple of centuries ago this ship called Lyric sank in the ocean and the sole survivor of this like crash or how do you say this, of this accident was their great great grandmother. Their great great grandmother, she created this town called Lyric based on the city's title but like accidents and bad things do not seem to only happen to their great-great-grandmother but Violet also hangs out with the wrong people and Sam does a suicide attempt. So after this attempt Violet decides to go to the town Lyric and she just wants to find the sunken ship because she and Sam were always fantasizing about that when they were younger. So she goes to Lyric, she meets this like amateur history enthusiastic called uh, Liv. Liv and Violet I think are gonna develop some feelings. So it's gonna be an LGBTQ contemporary mystery magical realism book? I have no clue if that is what it is but I'm just very curious to see what the story is and how it will go. So definitely gonna pick this one up after I finish Sorcery of Thorns. Oh my god and then the last book that I plan on reading in December is Tunnel of Bones by Victoria Schwab. This is the sequel to City of Ghosts. I had to check the name in my other bookshelf which I read in October and I absolutely adored it. It is an adventurous fantasy story about Cassidy and she can see ghosts and her best friend is her ghost friend Jacob. Her parents, how ironic and how funny, are ghost hunters. Like her mom, she desperately believes in ghost stories and her father's more of like the hyster hyster hysteric how do you say that? Someone who knows a lot about history. <laughs> Together they are gonna have a TV show about ghosts and ghost hunting. So they are gonna go to Edinburgh in the first book and Cassidy has an amazing ghost filled adventure and I just love the whole like ambiance. I love the whole vibe of that book so much. It is a middle grade but I felt like Cassidy was such a smart brave character. It was so good to be read as a middle grade but also just for people my age and I'm 20 and I love that book so much. And this is the sequel which takes place in Paris. I'm pretty sure that I will love Cassidy's next adventure just as much as the first one. So those are the five books that I plan on finishing before 2020. We shall see how many of them I will actually finish. Let me know in the comments down below if you have read any of the books that I showed to you guys today and what are your reading plans for this month, the last month of 2019. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking somewhere here on the screen or on the button down below. You guys can also follow Follow me on all of my different social media pages because I'm a booktuber. <laughs> of course I have Goodreads but I also have Snapchat, Instagram. I've just restarted my bookstagram so please go follow me at Sabine's Book Nook but I also have an email address. Links to those are all in the description box down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!